Ladies and gentlemen, for the 20th time since I've been employed for this show, Opie and Anthony are looking at uh, blueprints for a redesigned studio. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah. But they're looking like they think it's going to happen this time. Eric, do you think this is going to pan out? Um, We can be hopeful. I know. I, I hope got, it does. Hey, I got to see the specs. Um, <laughs> it really looks cherry. Yeah? Yeah. Cherry? Yeah. Like too many chairs? Or like red? Wiki right now is like um, the black guy in Batman. Where he's got... <laughs> you know what's awful is I don't know him other than the black guy in Batman. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he's also the black guy in the uh, March of the Penguins movie. He's great. <laughs> he's terrific. We're looking at like blueprints. You ever see aliens? We could weld plates here, here, <laughs> here, and here. <laughs> and, and he's not listening. Do you think... You think this is real? No, this is hilarious. Yeah, okay, this so you as know. As far as it's going to go. When, okay. when he came in with it, I grabbed the thing and I yelled, Blueprints, more like Jew prints. I love it. <laughs> oh, that's I a good one. It. No laugh out of it. That's a good Nothing. one. Nothing. What? Yeah. Don has been weird today. He's yeah. Just, he's not been good with, with, with comedy at all. Do you no. know what happened earlier, though? He's a little shaken up. He had these in a big rolled up tube in the back of his bicycle, <laughs> and then he left them in his dad's car oh, in the back, no, no. and he drove off. Uh -huh. And then he had to get the blueprints back. Right. And then they found cigarettes in his jacket. Exactly. No. Yeah. He's been terrible. smoking. And then Roland, <laughs> Roland's over there going like, yeah, let me, these are all looking good to me, too. Yeah, yeah. Where were the guests sit? Yeah, yeah, Roland Martin. was saying There's to put no you in guests. the corner facing There's the no corner. <laughs> enough seats for many guests. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just... Uh, I don't see it happening. No, you don't. I just don't see it happening. Why? Wow, that's pretty They're, good. I think everything they do, they they do like this will hold them a little longer. Right. Show them blueprints. Right. right. Show them some blueprints. And they and they shrunk the monitor finally. So they like, finally oh, did that. We shrunk the monitor. These, these We're making like progress. You like your shrunken monitor? <laughs> you like it? We're making progress here. Yeah. I yeah. think it's gonna happen. Oh, there you go. Oh, Don is taking back Don the blueprints a. because taking they are the indeed blueprints. confidential. What are you thinking? Oh. I like the, I like the Randall that. flag boots he's got on there. Oh, Who, Don? That was a nice, the walking dude. He w Don works so hard on it. Now. Yeah, and it just goes like this. He crushed him. He goes, yeah, I don't like it. Uh, he works so yeah. hard on it, too. It's just crushing. You could tell. Yeah. You could tell. He was pumped. Uh, he had a ruler that he was doing those with. <laughs> no, like, you're not understanding in scale. He's, oh, like okay. the kid, he's like the kid in school that wanted compliments for the bad Van Halen logo he drew on his fucking notebook. And we're just not giving it to him. Yeah. It sucks, dude. It's not even fucking proportioned right. Sort of fucking H. Fucking sucks. I was still doing Rolling Stone's tongue. Why are you Rolling Stone's tongue? <laughs> yeah. Were, good, the, were you good? Yeah, no. No, no it was terrible. No. But I would, like, halfway through the test, just hold it up and show it to someone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, aren't you doing your test? No. That's I don't why know I, any of this shit. That's why I opted for the Van Halen logo, because yeah. you could use the edge of a book. It was just straight lines. Right. You didn't need any creativity. You never tried to do the 3D prism from Pink Floyd with the rainbow that, coming out? Nah, yeah. Yeah, nothing that took any any creativity Effort. or work no. whatsoever. It no. was, yeah, I had to uh, use that piece of paper uh, for schoolwork, the back of it, too. Uh -huh. I never had paper. I was always the, you got a pencil? You got paper? You got anything you that got other people <laughs> have, like supplies? <laughs> My thing was always like this. Hey, smart girl, why don't you finish this test stuff for me? <laughs> and I was going to tell you later about it. Some big party you're probably coming to. That's going to be funny. You, you say the same thing to Fez now. Yeah, well, yeah. Smart girl or <laughs> Hey, he just scored a touchdown, everybody. Yay! <laughs> He's running for a touchdown. <laughs> I gotta get that fag out of here. Oh. Yeah, Kenny's downstairs with my neutral bullet. Jeez, look who's in here and sparkling. Who cares? who cares? Shows up with diamonds on. Yeah. I'm going for the fifteen yard penalty. My nigga. Whoa. Whoa. Right. Yeah, no. Whoa. I went All for right. it. I went NFL. for it. This is NFL. I went for it. NFL. I had to. Fifteen yards. We're we're living in a post NFL world. You we can't are a post NFL. You can't say that. It, it's amazing to me that they would come up with that the same time that they're they're running the combine, which is about the closest we have to a slave market <laughs> today. You watch these guys now hop up in the air. It really is. And you're like, ah. When you see the guys starting to check teeth. Uh, and, and just smacking on the hind quarter. They do that smack on the ass. Yeah, look. Uh, 
I was watching the Jimmy the Greek 30 for 30 over the weekend. Oh, what that? a uh, downfall uh, that guy took. Your big black male. <laughs> they <laughs> breed him with the bill. Oh, Jimmy, uh, shut the, up. They left it long, so they showed him like trying to explain. Like He realized as he was saying uh, it how bad it was. No, it's really... It's not it's a coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just love torture, don't you? Like, you uh, I man. loved watching him score. Because uh, yeah. then he starts like, going to the next appearance. He's like, what I was saying was... Your black is going to work harder for me. <laughs> yeah. then. Your black is going to be You're a harder black. worker. Oh, was that bad? Oh. That, yeah. that was back oh, when blacks crazy. couldn't be quarterbacks. Right? <laughs> True. Yeah, you'll black. never see a black quarterback, that's for sure. Uh, definitely not. But uh, <laughs> we, but somebody got caught with a gun that can't shoot basketball today. Yes. Huh? Oh, yeah. Who did? I didn't hear about it. From the Knicks. Yeah, oh. his fucking chick ratted yeah. him out. Oh, it was his chick. I thought his... he lent him a gun or something. No, he oh. he he. I guess he had a gun. He had a problem with his chick. <laughs> the only and time his chick fucking. Huh? The only time Ant knows anything that's going on in basketball is <laughs> when it's gun related. It <laughs> guns. You're absolutely right. His chick fucking took the gun down to the precinct. What a dirty And said, bitch. "This is my fucking boyfriend's gun." Get the he, fuck know, out of here. Just to just because you wanted to be shitty to him. Yeah. yeah. And, oh, and they didn't not uh, Kin- I think Kinnison's chick put his in a carry-on bag the oh, when she was I fucking mad. Oh, just one. snuck it under a carry-on bag. All right, Sam, enjoy <laughs> the tour. Enjoy the tour. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going anywhere. I'm assuming, all your, oh, I'm assuming all your guns are registered because your, your, your moisture is oh, trustworthy, yeah. right? I got to be registered. Okay. I can't uh, yeah, afford the prison. Trustworthy, yeah, trustworthy I moisture. I can't afford yeah. prison. It took a long time. This New York State is no... F- people to fuck around with. <laughs> they want to know everything. You had to get enough people upset with you that you started getting death threats. Then, right, that's then true. you can get uh, the stack of tweets and fucking emails and things that I take down there. I go, look, here it is. AK. Another stack of death threats. Every six months you have to kind of incite a riot so you can be like, look, I need yeah. it. This is what I do. People are trying to kill me. Right. Love it. Richard Cranium is out to uh, murder <laughs> me. Yes. This and if guy. you look at this threat from his partner Haywood Jablomi. Yeah. Uh, very serious allegations I'm making here Bobby Phil McCracken. <laughs> Bobby <laughs> underscore 420. <laughs> it's very dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> All right, kids. Have fun. See you later. Enjoy, enjoy your, your neutral bullet. Yes, uh, Kenny took it down to the car. Oh, oh shit. Kenny. <laughs> Wiki is still trying to sell Opie on this uh, on this studio build out, uh, and you he, know, look at Norian. He looks so black today. Why is he dressed like that? Well, that's his uh, that's his outdoor gear. <laughs> <laughs> look like he's a hood or something. Yeah, it is. It's a little hip hop. Well, you know, he used to dress like that when he was a kid. He used to wear like the <laughs> Kangol hats and the and the and the Adidas jumpsuits and everything. You look like he's selling weed or something. You, you think so? Like he got a nickel bag or something. We know that Don is all about interior decorating from your history with right. him, Ron. I mean. Yeah. And he's all about Opie from your history with him. Mm-hmm. You were talking last time you were on about the dinner you guys went to for Opie to come in and say, no, this doesn't work at all. It's got to be heartbreaking. <laughs> Is he crying? He ended He ended your guys' whole thing. Yeah. Because he wanted to be able to get in and show Opie his plans. It's unbelievable. And now... But it also shows you the Sirius X thing, XM thing is content on the air comes less. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the last possible thing we need. Yeah. I understand there's a show going on, but we have a meeting to get to. Oh, shit. We should have just yelled out, Don, please, this could pick up Twitter followers. <laughs> yeah. Don, what's this I hear about you costing the boys Twitter followers? <laughs> Oh, how are you doing, who kid? I'm chilling, man. Yeah, jet lagged as usual. Where you Where are you coming from? Uh, the last city I was in was uh, I was near Saint Tropez, France. Jeez, what are you doing, DJing? Yeah, I was DJing. All day. And what's you just got? Did you just get back today, or you're, you've been in town for a couple I'm days? Back on Monday. Because who are you talking to today that you have to have all these diamonds on? No, nah, I'm just uh, chilling right now. This Black History Month is over it's... this week, so I'm wearing black diamonds for the last week. To, it, because you think that uh, black people will uh, feel honored by that. It's ignorance. I understand. Uh, we got some questions for Ron. Oh, shit. Is that right? That's right. Kevin in Houston. Hey, boys. How y'all doing? What's up, buddy? Hey, I got a question for Ron. Not trying to be rude, but how come the new station sounds so shitty? It sounds like you're broadcasting from a cardboard box. Yeah, they're still working on the shittiness of that <laughs> station, but I hear about it all the time. He said uh, on the phone screen. He said, "Why does the show sound different?" Which right. translated once he gets on the air. I gotta, I gotta. 
Uh, no, uh, you know, he's right. Each station here sounds worse than the one before. <laughs> yeah, um, they have some kind of algorithm where they figure out exactly how much audio quality to give to each channel. Yeah, and they try to do that for me exactly during my show. <laughs> I'm, not, I mean, I'm not even making this up. And then they take it off the rest of the times that they're playing comedy clips. So for three hours, <laughs> we, yeah. they push, it's awesome. Right. And then right after that, they pull it back. I would never say that we've gotten to awesome, oh, okay. but improved. <laughs> and what? You, and, and do then, you advertise that? This is the new and improved Ron and Fez show? Well, no, not improved from where when we were over here, improved oh. from what the rest of the station sounds like. But the thing is, you know, there's so many d different ways people listen now, right? Yeah. So it's hard to engineer and produce mm. for all of them. That's crazy. Because I guess on the web, doesn't everything kind of sound the same if you listen on the app? That I couldn't tell you. Neither could I. I just I, assumed. And, and in our headphones, like if you're looking for levels, yeah. it's not necessarily the levels people hear in their radio. Really? That's yeah. crazy. So this is all just comfort. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. You're right. It doesn't, right. Do this. For yeah. all I know, I'm screaming right now when you're mumbling in someone's radio. Wow. You think yeah. you think it's a sabotage? You think somebody's trying to get no, at you? No, I just think that they're that that you know, unlike terrestrial where it's like one signal, one radio, mm. people are listening in their car, they're listening on their uh. computer, they're listening on their phone. There's different lag times for but things. It, it's also the formula you were talking about before. It's live radio last and then technology second to last. Yes. Yeah, so that and way they can get first is followers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. That is fucking nuts. Yeah. Um <laughs> Justin in South, uh, John in South Carolina. Hey, I am so excited. Is this finally the return of the Ronnie B and Sammy Sweetheart show? You know, there was <laughs> a short time yeah. when Sam was finding his sea legs that I would come in early and pump him up and make him feel good about himself. Ron was the mama deer that helped me as my legs right. were still shaky. He picked yeah. me up by my scruff and mm. said, no, Sam, this is how we do it. Um... And I, I wanted to do the same thing for Jimmy Fallon that first night, and he <laughs> yeah. was so nervous. <laughs> hey, did you guys see Fred Armisen on um, yeah. Fallon and talking yeah, about how crazy. scared he was mm -hmm. of being serious? Wow. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Was, I just I saw, saw the very that. beginning of the show. Though. Yeah, he said that they brought him up here, and he goes, they're like 40 you know, floors in the air. <laughs> And then they walk you. Their hallways on the outside, and I was hiding my eyes. He's, he's horrified at the height. Lane, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So is, is Fez going? Finally, somebody understands. Yeah, yeah, Fez gets it. You know, Fez is like, well, Fez doesn't step late enough to see that. But if there's some kind of replay today, why but would he? His show starts is, at noon. If you're, if, I could see if it was on the outside. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Like if he was forced to walk in the open air. But do you feel height when you're in a? Never. And it's not like we have to walk. It's not like the it's not floor to ceiling mm -hmm. windows. There's a gap. You can't even get next to the window because the radiators are right. on the floor. So I've never, I've never had a sense of being high in the air when I'm up here. And I've done that Chicago thing in the Sears Tower. Yeah. And that freaks me out when you're kind of outside the building in that glass box. Right. Mm. But being up here, I've never. So when you walked in the box, you thought this box is going to fall. I until I stepped inside that box, I was like, "This is cake." I don't understand how anybody could be afraid of it. One foot in the glass box, and I fell. I, I was like, "Well, now, unless you go to the, like the window and you look outside, it feels kind of like you know, I'm a scared nigga when I look out the window." Are you just you had to uh, slip it in? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm talking Even for you to make that up, you know what? I'm punting. <laughs> Sorry, and man. then we'll go over the sidelines and talk about the rules. Sorry. But, you know, have you guys ever been to the Grand Canyon? No, but they have that glass floor, right? Well, yeah, but even when you're on the edge, you're so high that mm -hmm. you don't feel high, like in an airplane. Mm. So you're, like, looking down at a painting. Right. Like, Fuck, look at that down there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at, like, 20 feet, you would probably be nervous about falling. Yeah. But at a mile, you, you, don't, you don't comprehend it. Yeah. Do you think that guy who walked in the Walenda... Who walked across the whole Grand Canyon was getting that sensation? A I, stupid fuck, too. Yeah, I don't know what goes on in those people's <laughs> heads. Out of their minds. <laughs> they're raised that way. Yeah. You know? They're raised to walk on ropes. <laughs> How do you raise them? No, you don't have to fear it. But yeah. if I fall, will I die? Yes, of course. When they're toddlers, they put them on a little wire. They start as babies. Wow, uh -huh. I didn't and know then, that. Yeah, and then they'll go up another six inch, another, until they're like, the kid's 15, and he's like, fuck, this is high, huh? Okay. <laughs> You know I, mean? I didn't here. realize it because huh. it was happening so little at a time. How do you get by in school doing that? Like, no, I'm not on the t-ball team. I walk a rope in my backyard. <laughs> but say that you do what your family. If you grew up in a family of fishermen, uh. 
you're going to fish. Yeah. You know, you don't make the decision to fish. My whole family was unathletic assholes, so. <laughs> Were they snarky? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> just sit in the TV and make fun of other people? Oh, my the God. Life? They just sit there, and whoever at the family gr- gatherings, whoever's not there, that's who we're all talking shit about. E, e- Rock, what about you? How will you raise your children? Um, unreligious. Is that right? Yeah. God bless you. Mm-hmm. Well, God bless those children. We got to end the show because the Opie and Anthony show has to begin. Okay, any clips? However, we didn't get to clips today, but I'm going to blame that on you, Ron. And I thought Michelle was going to come down here and defend herself. I texted her that she could come on the post show today. She was no part of it. I guess not. I think you scared her from live radio. What? No, 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 no. I'm a big fan. She said that after she did your show, because she was nice on there, yeah. and she tried to get you to stop being mean to Fez, that the Reddit Ron and Fez Reddit sub forum just killed her. Well, <laughs> here, here I'm going to teach you this little radio thing. Always go with the bit. You know what I mean? Yeah, no matter don't what. Be, yeah, don't be the person who stops a bit. I saw you when we were doing the dating game with Bobo. No part of you wanted to go with that. Yeah. But you went with it. Went with a bit. You yeah. had to. I go, we're all throwing rocks at the special news <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. Ron and Fez are on Raw Dog at noon. Goodbye, everybody. Uh.